The Withings BPM Core is quite possibly one of the most comprehensive blood pressure machines you can get at the moment. A blood pressure measuring device that can tell you your blood pressure, detect an irregular heartbeat, and detect abnormal heart sounds using machine learning algorithms. The moment I heard about these features in a single device, I knew I wanted to get my hands on it and put it through its paces. My name is Dr. Munin Moyes. I'm a family medicine physician, also known as a GP in the UK, and welcome to Digitize Health. Here's our review of the Withings BPM Core Blood Pressure Machine. Your blood pressure can tell you and your doctor a lot about the state of your health. In the context of having an infection, it can provide a window into how well your body is coping with the infection and fighting it off. Signs of sepsis or septicemia can be detected through a blood pressure and pulse measurement in some instances. It's also a reflection of your long-term health as persistently high blood pressure is a risk factor for heart disease and stroke. I often get patients asking me to take their blood pressure and I'm always delighted when they ask me to do this, even when it's not essential as part of that consultation. However, the reality is these days, you don't need a doctor to do your blood pressure for you. Gone are the days when the only way to know your blood pressure was to get a doctor to pump up a sphygmomanometer like one of these and listen in for your blood pressure. Times have changed, technology has changed. As doctors, we are probably more useful these days for interpreting the results for you rather than taking the reading as interpreting the results can sometimes be tricky. The Withings blood pressure cuff is comfortable and soft to put on. I've never been more excited to see what my blood pressure reading is by putting on the most futuristic looking cuff I have seen. We're a strong believer that aesthetics in fitness devices is essential to encouraging us to use them. And the Withings BPM Core scores highly in this area. The digital readout is easy to understand and the data automatically saves itself onto your phone's app. Measuring your ECG and EKG is as simple as holding onto the bar on top and a few seconds later you are told whether atrial fibrillation is detected or not. To understand more about atrial fibrillation and what it is, take a look at our Cardiomobile 6L review where I discuss this condition uh, using the help of a whiteboard animation. Heart sounds are measured through an electronic stethoscope with a button like protuberance that you press against your chest uh, whilst the blood pressure machine is running. This can be a slightly awkward position to hold however, um, but it does encourage you to keep your arms straight and at heart level during the reading, which is a correct technique for blood pressure measurements anyways. It can also hear your heart sounds through your shirt, which take it from a doctor is tough for even us with a stethoscope, but such is the power of technology these days. Uh, the BPM Core will also take three consecutive blood pressure readings for you, a few seconds or minutes apart, another important aspect of getting more accurate blood pressure readings. The app interface is one of the best I've seen so far for a fitness device. It is only beaten by a more comprehensive Fitbit app in my opinion. Its strength is in its simplicity and relevance. All the data presented is done in a comprehensible way. You can quickly scroll through your heart trace, listen to your heart sounds, and even create a PDF health report to send to your physician for their review. Simply superb. The HealthMate app also allows you to input your basic bio data, such as your height and weight, and has a conversational assistant called Health Coach that provides some stellar health advice as it asks you questions around your health. The app will also interface with your other digital health assistants, such as Google Fit, all round impressive. Of course, the device has limitations. It is not a body scanner out of Star Trek that can diagnose all manner of conditions as much as I wish it was. The ECG EKG measuring capability is limited to just one view of the heart. And to put that into perspective, a full ECG or EKG looks at 12 views of the heart. And so this can only tell you if you have atrial fibrillation or not at present. The device will tell you if your ECG or EKG reading is normal. And this is a dangerous conclusion for the device to declare. It's very brave of the device uh, given its limitations. And so I would certainly not take that reading as gospel. The heart sound abnormalities is limited to three of the most common valvular disorders that it can detect. Aortic stenosis, aortic regurgitation, and mitral regurgitation. And to be honest, these certainly constitute the majority of valvular disorders, and I would imagine is sufficient screening for most people. Let's take this opportunity to discuss what constitutes a heart sound and what the device is trying to hear for with abnormal heart sounds. The classic sound of the heart beating 
the baboon, 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 is the result of certain valves in the heart slapping shut at certain times of the heart pumping. This is called the lub dub sound. A normal heartbeat sounds a little like this. When there are certain abnormalities with the heart valve, we start to hear characteristic noises or extra sounds. These are sometimes called heart murmurs by doctors. Let's take a look at some examples. The valve on the right side of the heart animation is leaky. That means every time the bottom two chambers squeeze, some of the blood flows backwards, which is abnormal. In this example, this might be something called mitral regurgitation. The valves are meant to stop blood going the wrong way, but in this case, this valve isn't doing a great job of this. When this happens, we hear the noise of the blood as it flushes back past the leaky valve. Another example is if the valve on the right side of the animation is too tight. We can hear this more screechy sound as blood tries to squeeze past. This may be called aortic stenosis. The Withings BPM core is trying to hear for these abnormal sounds and report back to you if it detects something similar. As with most digital health tech, if you are getting symptoms, I would not rely on a normal reading as being completely reassuring and do see your doctor for review. One of the criticisms leveled against stethoscope has been in its difficulty in detecting heart sounds for some people. I personally did not face these problems that early reviewers seem to have faced, and I wonder, this is purely speculative, whether it's due to some sort of software or firmware update from Withings. What you will notice is a data processing tag next to your first few readings, which means the device needs to take a few more readings to be confident of the answer, so, so just bear with it. Another commonly banded criticism is the inability to detect heart sound abnormalities with heart rates less than 50. I felt this was an unfair criticism as few of us will fall into this category and if we do we may be athletes or those on medication or with pre-existing heart conditions that are being monitored by a doctor already. Moreover, if you have a heart rate below 50 and have been getting symptoms and this is a good reason to see your doctor and not rely on this device's interpretations. If you're getting value out of this video, let us know by tapping the like button below. It would mean the world to us and let me know in the comments below what matters most to you when you're looking for health and fitness and wellness devices. Technology is empowering us all in ways that the doctors of yesteryear could never have imagined. The Withings blood pressure cuff is one of a few exciting devices currently out there that herald the entry of artificial intelligence in diagnosing health problems. It promises a future where devices like these will be better than doctors at one day at detecting early signs of heart disease. We haven't arrived at that point as yet, but it's a future we should all be incredibly excited about. At close to 190 pounds, it is one of the most expensive blood pressure cuffs on the market. But if you're looking for one of the most comprehensive blood pressure cuffs that is comfortable, easy to use, and goes beyond the traditional top number, bottom number of a blood pressure machine to screening for other indicators of heart related problems, then this is an excellent device. The Withings BPM Core at the time of this video hasn't as yet been released in the United States, but when it does, it will likely be one of the best. Because we here at Digitize Health are excited by the future of medicine, health and fitness tech, we'll be using and keeping a hold of this cuff for now. But that doesn't mean you have to. If all you need is a simple and cost-effective blood pressure cuff that only measures your blood pressure, then this is overkill. You will get an accurate blood pressure reading on blood pressure cuffs well under half the price. You don't need the BPM core. We would strongly recommend that all of us have an electronic blood pressure cuff at home as it provides a lot of useful information for you and your doctor in monitoring your health. So get the device that is most easy to access for you. Check out the description below for links to where you can get the Withings BPM Core, but also some worthy, far cheaper alternatives, including the model that I have used daily for my own patients. I'll also link in the description some useful resources you may wish to read on blood pressure in general from reputable sources. Thank you so much for joining us, and if you'd be happy to see more reviews and opinions like this, punch the like button and tap the subscribe button, and join us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for more insights. And remember guys, keep showing your heart some love, and it will love you back. See you at the next one.